Hello my friends, welcome to my channel and I hope you're all fine. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make an ultra battery at home. It will be very informative and very innovative video. And also it will be very easy for you to make an ultra battery at home. I'm going to show you a very easy, very practical method to make an ultra battery at home. So first of all, let me tell you what is an ultra battery and what is the differences between an ultra battery and lead acid battery. An ultra battery is a new advanced form prototype form of uh, lead acid battery it is very very similar with lead acid battery there are only a little bit changes differences between uh, lead acid battery and ultra battery so let me show you on the figure uh, what is an ultra battery in normal lead acid battery on the positive electrode as you he see here on the positive electrode they used a uh, lead dioxide and on the negative electrode they used pure um, lead sponge form of lead but in ultra battery in ultra battery on the positive electrode it used uh, lead dioxide but on the negative electrode it used um, pure lead and um, activated carbon i mean mix of lead and activated carbon so when you build a battery on the positive electrode if you used um, lead dioxide and on the negative electrode if you use mix of uh, lead and activated carbon instead of lead um, uh, acid battery you will get an ultra battery it's very easy it's very simple to build to make an ultra battery now if you understand the basics of an ultra battery now it's time to uh, make an ultra battery okay my friends in order to make an ultra battery we are going to need lead dioxide as you see here and we are going to need pure lead so how we will get this material if you if you have an old and uh, dyed lead acid battery if you cut and open up this lead acid battery you will get a positive electrode on the positive electrode we have lead dioxide and on the uh, negative electrode we have sponge form of pure lead so we are going to use this material to make our ultra battery and also we are going to use some activated carbon i have some activated carbon here and a very little bit binder as a white glue just a little bit because um, there are there is already a binder uh, inside this material so we don't have to use uh, a lot of binder just a little bit binder for activated carbon and one more thing if you are going to work with lead and lead dioxide i recommend you to use um, hand gloves for your uh, health protection because lead and lead dioxide is very poisoning very uh, hazardous uh, material for your health so i highly recommend you to use uh, wear your hand gloves in order to protect your health from this poisoning material now we can move on the second step and i'm gonna show you how to make an ultra battery okay my friends you can continue to make our battery i am going to remove the lead on the negative electrode and i will make a powder of uh, lead it could be a little bit difficult to remove the lead uh, from the negative electrode but if you work a little bit, you can do that. Yeah, it's not very easy. My friends, this white material is the part of separator. It's not very important. You don't have to remove the separator. You can also add this uh, separator uh, to the lead. It will be very useful for you. It will uh, provide some strength for your battery. Because this separator is made from uh, fiber. So fiber is very good material to um, strength your battery.
Okay, my friends, we almost removed all of the uh, lead from the grid. So, and also I need to uh, make these granules of um, lead in, turn into powder form. And after that, I am going to put some boiling water on it and mix it very well until it becomes a slurry form of uh, lead. Okay. Now, my friends, I am going to add a little bit boiling water, just a little bit, not too much. Okay, that's enough. And with the help of this spoon, I am trying to melt the um, pure lead into hot water. Okay, my friends, I almost completely uh, melted this all the lead into the water. As you see, there could be some small particles just like this. It's not really important, but most of the part of the lead is uh, melted in the water now. I did the same thing for lead dioxide. As you see, I have also lead dioxide, slurry lead dioxide in the water. So I have pure lead here and lead dioxide here now it's time to add some activated carbon into this one into the lead okay i have my slurry activated carbon here this is activated carbon and i just add some uh, white glue into it now i will add some activated carbon into the lead Okay, as you see. Okay, I think that's enough and I will mix them very well. Okay, I get a nice mix and i will apply this one and this one onto the surface of a lead sheet i will show you momentarily okay my friends i have three pieces of lead sheet or lead foil i'm going to use one of them as a positive electrode and two of them as a negative electrode i'm going to apply uh, lead dioxide for the positive electrode and I am going to apply a mix of activated carbon and uh, lead pure lead to the negative electrode but but before apply the active material I am going to use uh, this sandpaper and etch the surface of the lead sheet lead foils so why we are doing this uh, because after we stretch the surface of the lead sheets, lead pieces, uh, the active materials uh, stick to it better uh, than normal. Okay, I'm just going to uh, etch the surface. Okay, uh, can you see the differences when we etch the surface? Okay, okay, do you see my friends differences? I'm going to etch the both sides of the uh, lead sheets, both sides. Okay, my friends, I've just etched the surface of the lead pieces. Now it's time to apply the active materials on that. Okay, my friends, I'm going to use my fine brush to apply the lead dioxide on this one. This one will be positive electrode. I will apply the active material on the both sides of the uh, sheets, lead sheets. And let it until it completely dry, my friends.
I will apply just like this. Don't apply this part, it will be connections of our battery. Apply it very carefully. I will clean my fine brush. And just apply the mix of activated carbon and um, pure lead. For the negative electrode, I am going to apply the active material only on one side, not two sides, only on one side. By the way, my friends, the size of the lab pieces is uh, three centimeters to three centimeters according to the size of your battery you can make larger or smaller uh, I will make a small battery so if you want to make a very uh, big battery your lead sheet should be about 10 centimeters to 10 centimeters or 20 centimeters to 20 centimeters it just depends on you um, this is a it will be a small battery so I just used three centimeters to three, three centimeters size of um, uh, lead sheet. As I said, it depends on you. The size of the sheets just depends on you. Okay, I've just applied materials and I am going to let it to dry. Okay, my friends, our electrodes are completely dry. Now it's time to combine our battery. I'm going to use towel paper as a separator. I just got one piece of towel paper and I will fold into four pieces. Just fold it. Okay, my friends, I've just folded into four pieces. Now, I will combine my battery. First of all, I will take one piece of uh, negative electrode. Just put it here. And Take the um, positive electrode. Just like this. And again. Use my separator. Now, take another negative electrode. Just put it here. Okay, my friends this one is the positive terminal and these two are negative terminals i will connect the negative terminals to each other i'm going to use a tape to hold everything together just like this hold it very tightly okay
Now I will cut the excessive parts here. I'm just going to use this piece of lead to connect the uh, negative terminals to each other, just like this. I'm going to solder this uh, piece of lead. Okay, my friends, I just connect two pins for our battery terminal. This is the uh, positive terminal and this is the negative terminal. Now I'm going to put um, my battery in a container. I'm just going to use this small container and I will put my battery inside it. In order to fit it better inside the container, I'm going to use this paper just to round the battery. Okay, just like this. And just tape it. Again, cut the excessive parts. And after that, put it inside this container. Yeah, this time, as you see, it's fitted very well. Okay, that's very nice. Now it's time to, uh, our battery almost finished, it's time to add the electrolyte. Okay, my friends, as the electrolyte, I am going to use 30% um, of sulfuric acid solution into deionized water. With the help of my injection, I am going to add the electrolyte to my battery. I'm adding very slowly. just like this it will soak the electrolyte Add some more it's very beautiful Okay, my friends, after adding the electrolyte into my battery, our battery ready to use. Now we are going to charge our battery and make some tests on it. You see, it's very nice, very beautiful battery. This is an ultra battery. Okay, my friends, I made the necessary connections for my battery. Now I'm going to set my charger to 0 0.1 amp. Now I am going to charge my battery. As you see, the voltage decreasing. Okay, my friends, after charging my battery for one hour, now it's time to test it and see the capacity of our battery. As you see, it's very nice, very beautiful battery now. I'm going to measure the voltage inside it, first of all. As you see, there is 2.14 volt inside the battery now. I'm going to try to run this blender dc motor with my battery just put it here
So you see our battery can run this DC motor very fast. Very nice, very beautiful ultra battery my friend. You see how fast it can run the DC motor? Now we have one more step. I will cover my battery with this. I will uh, cover the top of the battery with this plastic and seal it with my hot glue very well. And after that, our battery will be ready to use. It will finish. Our battery is, my friends, our battery is 200 milliamp hour capacity. This is a small battery. If you want to make bigger battery, you can use uh, larger pieces of lead and the other materials you can use uh, you can make a larger battery but this is a very small very nice 200 milliamp hour battery it's very nice Okay, my friends, our battery is ready to use. We just covered the top of the battery and sealed with my hot glue. And as you see, our battery is ready to use. Okay, my friends, we get the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Take care of yourself. See you in the next videos, my friend.